This is a real robot controlled by AI. And it's actually working in the real world right now. Yes, tech and AI aficionados, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're spotlighting a trailblazer in terms of robotics and AI from a company called Sanctuary AI. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're in for an electrifying, mind-blowing journey right now. Let's check it out. Before we delve into the world of robots and Sanctuary AI, and of course, Tesla as well, we'll be talking about that. Let's just rewind a bit to a few weeks ago. I stumbled upon a fascinating uh, discussion about AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Now, this is the type of AI that's as brainy as humans, okay? It's capable of understanding, learning, applying knowledge in any intellectual task that we can. I mean, picture a computer program that can do everything you can from cracking complex maths problems to penning a poem, strumming a guitar, or even engaging in deep conversation. That's real AGI. It's more than what we have now with ChatGPT4. But things like ChatGPT4 were meant to be not achievable for like another 30 years, but they're here right now. And AGI is meant to be able to kind of think for itself. And we've seen glimpses of that with Agent GPT and the ability for uh, a ChatGPT model to go off and create its own little ChatGPT agents to do different tasks. However, on this panel, an expert opined that we're still some distance away from AGI because he believed that current AI systems like ChatGPT and Google Bard and all the ones we've seen still need humans to do the work for them in the physical world. You know, ChatGPT can tell you what to do, but as humans in the physical world, we've got to do it. And in this expert's opinion, until that problem solved, we won't have true AGI. And he considered that to be years away. Well, cut to about a week later, ladies and gentlemen, and I discovered that they'd already put ChatGPT into the Boston Dynamics Spot the Dog robot. Yeah, ChatGPT integrated with Spot, the commercially available robot from Boston Dynamics. And since it's equipped with ChatGPT, it can answer queries, comprehend natural language questions and instructions. You know, hey Spot, go and get that spanner over there, whatever it is. It can provide feedback information like, I've only got 50% battery left. Uh, oh, this, this task I'm currently working on will take approximately five spot dog hours, and even detect system anomalies. So much for AI not being incorporated into robots for many years to come. Imagine if they put this into Boston Dynamics' slightly more acrobatic robot that's got the moves and the attitude. Yikes. However, this, of course, was still just in the experimental phase. This is just Boston Dynamics trying things out with ChatGPT and their kind of spot the dog. And of course, then last year, there was Elon Musk's announcement about actually building a humanoid robot that in many quarters was kind of laughed off 12 months, 18 months ago. Well, people aren't laughing so much now. And, you know, at the time, it was sort of far from being practically useful. It was just a proof of concept. Was it even a working robot? But we'll circle back to that as Tesla has provided an update on its progress with Optimus as it's called. Right, now let's talk about Sanctuary AI. They recently revealed their sixth version of robot. I didn't even know they had like five versions already. This is their flagship product, Phoenix. And it's not your average robot. It's a humanoid general purpose robot powered by Sanctuary's unique AI system called Carbon. So it is an AI system that has been specifically built a humanoid general purpose robots. So what do we mean by humanoid general purpose robots? So this is basically robots that aren't built specifically for one single task, like a, the old fashioned notion of a robot in a car factory that is programmed and built to do one thing and one thing only, like, you know, screw in those rivets. No, a humanoid general purpose robot is a robot that could be tasked to do many different tasks, many different jobs 
You just have to tell it what to do and show it what to do and it will do it. And therefore, you don't have to kind of build lots of different physical types of robots. You just have one robot and then teach it what you need to do. I mean, imagine a robot that can work with you, learn from you, even take over tasks when you're, you know, a bit tied up or busy. That is what Sanctuary AI claim Phoenix is designed to do. They say it's designed to boost safety, efficiency and sustainability in the workplace. So a robot like this can do human-like tasks, but in a non-human environment. But there's more because Sanctuary is really pushing this kind of AI controlled robot idea. They're on a mission to tackle labor shortages worldwide and create opportunities for those who might struggle with physical work. These robots can be remotely operated or supervised by humans. They're not just tools, they're partners. That's what Sanctuary say. When given the green light, they can use their built-in autonomous control system to observe, assess, and then act on its own tasks. So initially, you might just control them remotely, but when you need to, they're constantly learning and then the AI can kick in and then it can just do the task by itself. Sanctuary go on to claim, especially in a recent interview, that it isn't just about building robots. They're about, and this is their words, crafting solutions. They're confronting challenges head on and pushing the frontiers of artificial intelligence, cognition and robotics, and then combining them all in one. And this, Phoenix, is the manifestation of that. And guess what? Sanctuary already claimed to have already deployed a Phoenix robot with AI controlling it in the real world. It's lending a hand in a store. Yeah, it's basically a, a shop assistant, a store attendant. Right now, it's currently working at the Canadian Tire Company. It can do front of house activities like working at the till, taking your money, doing transactions, or working in the warehouse or in the storeroom, or in the shop store, just kind of restocking the shelves and stuff like that. You just tell it what to do, and off it goes. So this isn't some sort of prototype in a lab. This Sanctuary AI robot is actually working in the real world. Of course, it is still very early days, and this is very much a pilot scheme, but Sanctuary's AI's mission is to create this general purpose robot, not a robot designed for one specific task, but a robot that can learn and then be put to use doing a variety of jobs. And that's what they're using their unique carbon AI to do, to learn new rules. And for a robot to learn new rules, it isn't as daunting or as difficult as you might think. Google DeepMind in London is using AI and machine learning to teach these football robots to actually teach themselves. They were just basically given a single goal, literally to score a goal. They weren't taught how to stand or programmed how to walk or kick a ball beforehand. They taught themselves how to play football. Essentially, what DeepMind did is that they modelled every part of the physical real robot. They then put that data into a computer and then gave it a goal, i.e. score a goal, and these are the basic rules. And then the AI machine learning basically taught itself through playing through millions and millions of times, like speeding up evolution, you know, standing up, falling down. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, I'll stand up this way and then fall down. Like, But just millions and millions of times, like humans, but basically speeding up evolution into a tiny kind of short space of time through using artificial intelligence and machine learning so that these robots can finally stand up without any aid, balance, walk, run, kick, and score a goal. They even developed their own strategies on how to play and how to kick. And then they fed all that data back into the real robots. And voila, robot messy. And that, of course, then brings us to Tesla and their Tesla bot, Optimus. And at a recent Tesla shareholder meeting, well... Things seem to be quite advanced in terms of development on this one. As you can see, it sort of seems to be walking around the shop floor already, helping out and looking a bit scary when there's a whole gang of them in a row. And Tesla are developing their own AI system, their own AI controlled chip, their own kind of technology. They're building all their own parts bespoke because the bits they need to build this robot don't exist in the real world. And they're using the learning and technology from the cars and the 
sort of full autopilot system of the cars to understand a car's whereabouts in the world and stuff and LIDAR and all of that and using that technology and putting it in the robot. So equally, that robot can navigate the physical and real world using the technologies from the cars. This is big news for Tesla and Elon Musk is betting big on this one. I mean, just imagine, six robots look pretty scary. Let's just hope they don't plan to build very many. I don't know. I mean, Sorry? 10 billion units. What was that? It's, it's, it's some crazy number. Oh, dear. So anyway, competition in AI isn't the only thing that's heating up right now. I think we're having a race now for real autonomous robots. Things that might have seemed like years and years away. Things are happening now that seem like they wouldn't be happening for years and years and years. Just like AI. Where we are with AI, no one considered we would be where we were with AI right now, like five years ago, 10 years ago. People were saying it would take 50 years to get where we are right now with ChatGPT4 and things like that. The same is true of the world of robots and the humanoid general purpose robot may be closer than you think because this race is real. Autonomous robots that can act on their own, learn on their own, be given lateral language instructions, Oi, oi, Billy Bob robot, go and tighten that rivet and do human-like tasks. It's all on the rise. Hey, <laughs> at least AI can't read our minds, eh, folks? Because that would be... Oh, dear. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it. And it helps people like you find content just like this. And if you're new to my channel, then do me the great honor, Aragada Gazimus. Please hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with content just like this. Oh yeah, and while you're at it, why don't you check out the amazing AI content that I've done just for you and you right here. Check out these videos right here. These ones. Thanks for your time.